What is up, everybody? Welcome to a new Moons video. Today, we are ranking our top 10 quarterbacks going into the 2021-2022 NFL season. Let's get to it. Number one, I have the MVP, you know, the GOAT, Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to be the best quarterback next year. Just kidding. Just, it's Mahomes. It's Mahomes. <laughs> it's Mahomes. Yeah, I was a little bit mind blown. I thought we were on the same page. It's we Mahomes. are on the same page. <laughs> he was just reading a different page, it seems, that isn't his. I also have Mahomes, number one. It's hard to go against that. Mahomes is insane. The Chiefs are insane. And yeah. Now I have Aaron Rodgers. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I do. I have Aaron Rodgers. Um, MVP last season. And uh, back to back. All right. um, but yeah. I do not have Aaron Rodgers at number two. At number two, I have Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen's a solid quarterback, and I think I think he's a good chance for MVP next year. Because I feel, I doubt they give it to Mahomes again. I doubt they give it to Rodgers again. I think it could be Allen. I could see it. Um, at three, I have Josh Allen, because, uh, you know, he's just good, good. He's good like that. And at three, I've got Rodgers. It's kind of, if you don't have this as your top three, what are you doing? Like, I I'm really curious on your opinion, okay? so put it down below. <laughs> um, at four, I have Sean Watson. I didn't think he was a top five, but okay. I I didn't know who else to put there because the rest of the people just don't seem worthy enough. And um, the fifth person I have doesn't seem worthy for his spot either. But uh, Watson probably won't even play next season unless he gets traded. So that could be a really bad pick for me. So yeah, yeah. At number four, don't attack me. I have Matthew Stafford. All right. He's got a new team, the Rams. He's got two good receivers. He's got some running backs. He's got a no line and a defense. I think Stafford's going to ball out, and I think he can easily lead the Rams to a possible Super Bowl run. Number five deserves his spot. I have Justin Herbert. Ooh. He's he's freaking goaded. He's going to ball out next season, and he's going to he's going to give the Chiefs a run for their money. It's going to be fun. Okay, I could. That division is definitely going to be that fun. division is going to be probably one of the most stacked divisions. I agree. It's definitely going to be a fun one. Uh, my number five, I have the more than likely comeback player of the year, Dak Prescott. I don't see how he doesn't win that, to be honest. The dude's a good player. He's got some weapons around him. We'll see how it goes. But I think he's going to play well. Uh, number six, I have Teddy Bridgewater, who's also in the AFC West. Um, this one, basically I filled out my whole entire list before I put in the sixth person. So that might have something to do with this. But... Look at who he has as weapons. He's got three insane wide receivers, a good, insane tight end, good running backs, uh, O-line. Three? Three, yeah. Three? What do you mean? Who's three? Who's not three? My number six, I have... Justin Herbert. Herbert's a good player. He's got some weapons. It's his second season coming. The dude's going to ball out again. Seven, this one is kind of crazy to me, but if he keeps Julio and has Calvin Ridley, Matt Ryan. He's, he's just good. He's good like that. Okay. Matty Ice. Okay. At number eight, I have Russell Wilson. Uh, Wilson kind of sucked at the end of half year. I think he can come back again and then probably suck for half the season again. But that's enough to get number eight on my list, I believe. He's got weapons. We'll see if he can do anything with it. Um, part of me feels like he won't be on the Seahawks, and then part of me feels like he might not even play, because he's apparently going through something right now oh, with the Seahawks, I don't and know. so, I think it's who all knows, rumors. and I think, I think part of him is just, uh, he, he's towards his later years, okay. you know, it's just, he's good, don't get me wrong, but I think he's nine, he's nine. <laughs> well, there's his number nine. Uh, my number nine, Derek Carr, back to that AFC division. It's going to be insane. I'm not sure how insane Teddy Bridgewater will be. But the rest of the other three, the Raiders, the Chargers, the Chiefs, there's going to be some good games there, for sure. For 10, I had like seven honorable men mentions. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of this quarterbacks. One's, these are going to be rough. You guys aren't going to agree with me. Okay. Fitzpatrick, Daniel Jones, Ooh. Gardner Minshew, and Sam Darnold. Not what I was thinking when you said I know, I know. Not what I was and thinking. And then Justin Fields, okay? Those are my five honorable mentions. But instead, I put Kyler Murray because okay. I know what he can do. That's more the rest of them, I'm projecting them to not suck and 
Trust me, none of them do. Daniel Jones might. But the rest of them, they actually are good, okay? Just put them on the team and put them on the Bucks. Take out whoever that old guy is, and bam, Super Bowl for those guys. Yeah. Well, my number 10, I have Tom Brady. Going off of that old guy, Tom Brady's good. He's got weapons around him. I just don't see how he isn't in the top 10. Yeah, it's honestly that simple. So comment down below what your top 10 is. Probably different from ours. Comment down below how much of an idiot some of our picks are. Because I know you guys disagree with some of them. And that's okay. Everyone has different opinions. And if you had a different opinion than us, let us know. Click that subscribe button. Click that like button. Because we got tons of more content coming out. It's almost summertime. Summer fun time. The content's going to get insane. Thanks for watching. Peace.